and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts Jenny. And today I've got, I'm using a tool, which is fun. I'm using a little um, one cup measuring cup thing. And I've got three pinks, a burgundy, and a beige. And the beige, I think they call it dark titanium white. Anyway, a beigey color. And the beigey color is going to be my base color. And then I will put the other colors in here and we will play around with it. Around with it. So let me get the base color down. And I may just kind of put it in the center because I'm going to let this, I'm going to pick it up and move it all around. So just, you just need something for the paint to move around in or on. In and around and on. Okay, let me get something here. paints that I put down here is it's pre-mixed pre so I didn't mix anything with that one but the rest of them have stuff mixed in with them has filter all mixed in so I'm going to go down with the dark color first so basically I'm just going to pour some paint in here as you can see fresh me paint There we go. And like I said, I always take the stir sticks out because it's easier to pour. I've been seeing this technique and I don't, I'm sure it has a name. It's not my technique. Although I did do something similar to it a long time ago, but other people were doing it too, so that's okay. That's what we do. Let's put the beige in here just a drop or two. Well, I'm gonna get. And this one is very liquidy, which is kind of cool. All right, so then you take your stir stick, and you can start kind of making some designs in here. That's pretty. And you just pour it out. Wow, oh, like that. It's more of the burgundy. Alright, so I'm going to fill up another cup. I'm going to put the, the pink first. This one on top. And this pink here. And again, I think I covered up my stir stick. Oh my gosh, it's busy ah, and messy. 
Okay. This, I don't know if I like that. I think what's in the cup. Let's see if I can get that to come out of the cup. Mmm, so so. Hmm. Try this little guy. Maybe it's because the cup's so deep. That could be why I'm not getting what I want to see out of it. It needs to be a shallow cup. <laughs> We're learning, aren't we? Yeah, there's a lot of paint on this canvas. That's okay. So the shallow cup allowed me to keep some of the design where the deeper cup didn't. So that's interesting. So, yeah, you can do both. But if you want to keep your design somewhat... I'll do some more. I don't have much paint left. Okay, so, so I get my design in here. Okay, now I'm going to pour out this side because let's see if, what the design does. Or I can stretch the design while it's in the cup. And then let's pour it up here. Oh, wow, look at that. So we're learning. So the deeper cup, and I think that's why so many of the people are using, and I put it up, a flatter surface to do these designs, and I will get that out. It looks like a dustpan, but they do the dustpan and pour it out. That'll be my next, I'll do that on my next show. Um, I gotta find it first. I used it one time, I don't know where it's at, that's okay, we will find it. Well, how interesting. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's going to take a while to, to dry. Um, I don't know if it's my most favorite painting, but what I really wanted to do was play around with these measuring cups, and I'm glad that I did. So keep that in mind that the, the thinner the cup, the better your design is going to slide out onto the canvas, whereas the deeper one, you can still get an interesting pour out of it. It's just going to be a different kind of pour. So... There you have it. All right. Okay, so I will take some pictures of it and put it about here. And so what do I always tell you guys? Go out there. Be absolutely awesome. Do your thing, and I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon.